Hey, get up. Hey, guys, and how about you play The Walking Dead? What? Be quiet. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Well, no. Name sleep. But big I'm and strong and any dad, scary no anyway. Offense. There's a tractor and everything. Yay! We Hyper better get little going, boy. or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. Mm. We call him Duck, though. Why? Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! <laughs> See? That's a fun little nickname, isn't the it? Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Oh, I could totally do that, yeah. I'll ask the girl. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. <laughs> I understand. Honey, Doug, Little this Clementine. is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Hmm. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Yep, I, I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? <laughs> cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, cool. So, she'll chill with her, Duck will chill with the other nice dude, and I guess we'll go talk to... Kenny. Got his name. <laughs> hey there, uh, Kenny. Um, need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Cool. Do you cool. need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Um, no kids. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? How's your son doing? I guess we'll just go through all of them. Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. It's confused at first because I'm like, stumbled upon Herschel's body, but we're here. No. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. It's actually not a bad plan. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Hmm. See you. Actually, that's a pretty good plan, I mean, because... I was gonna say, a boat is like a treehouse, and that it's good because, you know, like, zombies can't really get you there unless someone on the boat is infected. Um, but then it's a matter of supplies. But you'd have the food covered with commercial fishing. It'd just be a matter of having, you know, good clean water and, like, clothing and that sort of thing. Medical supplies if things went wrong. I should probably actually go talk to, uh, Kacha. Yeah, Kacha and Clem Clem again. So I can look Seems at them from like here. Those two are getting along. Can I just look at everyone from a distance? No, but if I get closer, I bet I can talk. Hey, what's up, girls? Hey there, girls. That's pretty close, actually. Um, you two actually look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think relaxed. we're doing it's just great. fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. <laughs> oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, yeah, no? That was weird. Did it just jump? You learned Clementine is a first grader. I guess that's important. What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. <laughs> what is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Well, it can. But let's hope that it won't. My mistake. Uh, yeah, my mistake. 
We'll all be just, home soon. It's not lying. How did you handle getting well, it kind of is, but you lie like so many times Can when you're first meeting someone, drive? right? That's just what happens. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Hey, oh. It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Well, yeah. Who would? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Okay, little. That's a little much, Lee. Okay, Lee. You didn't have to say that last bit. That was kind of depressing. Well. No point in living in a zombie apocalypse. Hey, right kids? Nah. Okay, now the controls are just weirder. But we figured it out. I mean, the good thing is we don't have to, like, run from anything, so... Look at Duck! Hmm, it's a duck boy. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll talk to Duck first. What's up, Duck? How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! No, please don't really drive the tractor. I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Cool. What about you, Sean? What you got to say? Sean's still working on that fence. Good for him. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Yeah, because we're a helpful lot. Okay. Cutting wood. Do I actually have to do anything? My dad doesn't no, do know not. how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Maybe it was Leon. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Yep. <sighs> Bastard. Poor girl's brains in it. Whoa. I couldn't do that. Sure I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Sean won't Dad forget just wants that. to keep the that family safe thing. and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I don't really have a fam. Oh, well, I do have them. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. I know, like in that That's kind of situation, cut for now. you never know, like where things are bad. You know where it's spread to. And Sean, I'm probably one who would like the <laughs> assume the worst, which is terrible. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. I like anyway, Sean. When you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh yeah, I could do that. Superhero Lee off to the rescue, of course. Off to go talk to Herschel. Wow, we got here quickly. I guess there's nothing to see. Just looking around, right? Okay. Hey, Herschel. Thought I'd come to help, man. Or talk and see if you need help, I guess. That's awkward. Okay. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Um, I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me hmm well you're no worse for wear uh, this farm's a nice plot of land huh. had you told me 20 years ago i'd still be doing this i would have told you that you were full of crap are you not it happy was a plan having a place like this it was in the family and i guess so was i family's important it's all that matters you agree with that was brought up to yes mm -hmm. where's your family now Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? They're in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Me too, Herschel. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yep. Yeah. Looking for help in her house. She's being attacked. She came to my rescue. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. She's a brave little girl. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? He didn't seem to like that answer, did he? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. 
Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. I've been honest to you this entire time, Herzl. At least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. That's bad. Okay. Go! I'll get my gun. Um. Sean? <laughs> Son of a god. I like Sean. But he's a boy. Okay, uh oh. Like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, quickly, and then run around and help. Help Sean, right? Okay. Come on. Punch him. Punch him. There we go. Now help Sean. I got you. Quickly, quickly. Oh, dude! Please, please. Dude, what the heck? Oh. He told you the fence was necessary. He told you the fence was necessary. Well, <laughs> he did. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I did too. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! So he's like, I can't be angry at Herschel in this situation because of what just happened. Like, sure, he wasn't there to help his son either, but he was running to get his gun. He wanted to help just the same way we had wanted to help. But we were both too slow. But I will blame Kenny for running off. Want. His son was safe. You could have just set his son down off to the side where there were no zombies, where nothing bad was happening. We could have helped the guy, maybe. But now. I like Sean. <laughs> Stupid zombies. Well, this is as far as we're going. I guess we're out of gas. Far enough. At least we got a little smile from Clem, I think. Drug. Look! Doc, quiet. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Probably not friendly. Fuck! I think it's safe to say in the zombie apocalypse, never trust anyone who's like crouching over, you know? Son of a god, I was like, we just barely saved him. She doesn't look like she'd be that good with a gun, but she seemed all right. We can't take risks like this. Another safe haven. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut, no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What about the little boy? What is it? I... I have to pee. Oh. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. I don't want her to go They've off on her own. Oh, there's a zombie really? in there. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. 
God Ooh. damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I know. No, Clem's going anyway. Fuck. We're in a war zone. I don't know what to say. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Well, son. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Was he bitten? He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. I think we would have heard like a scream if he was bitten. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you Good. fucking people get it? Yeah. We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, Make a decision. it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Reason with him. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody. I didn't side with Kenny. Is that not deciding Everyone, with Kenny? The fuck out. I'm not trying to throw a duck out. Anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. This guy needs to calm now, down. We're seriously. about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. Let's see it. There we You're go. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. This guy's a... I'm gonna kill him, cat. <laughs> Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. I hope that there's someone hey, I'm not the something. bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. You're kind of the bad You're guy just here. just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does... Then what you do first is you do quarantine is the person until they turn. Face. Right? You give then, him some time. When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Yeah. No. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. I like that, Lee. <laughs> That's not a good sound. <laughs> That's not a good sound at all. Jesus! Oh, 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 shoot. Come on. Good oh, night. Oh, go, go, go! Come on! Oh, shoot, this was hard! Oh, good. Okay, never mind. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. You okay? <sighs> For now. <laughs> That's great, thanks. Uh, guys. Oh, good, Clem will remember. <laughs> Is that the military? Yeah, someone's firing out there. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh. Dad! Ah! Ah! He had it coming. But I'll be nice. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. 
Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think cool. this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. No. Nope. Right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane, that'd be great, you know your way around town. Boom. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need Sorry, do we have cool. the other walkie-talkie then? has got the other one. Okay, we do. Okay. with her and get back here as soon as you can. <laughs> Forget. You. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him cool. those pills. Right, well it just saved and we're at the point where we can look around now, so I think now's a good time to call it. Ah, uh, Larry ticked me off there, like, so yelly, so... Like, yeah, he's just doing it for his daughter, he says, but he needs to calm down, like, that is not the rational way to, like, ha keep... Take care of things, you know, take care of your daughter or whatever, like, he took it too far and was just being totally, like, self-centered and selfish and all that. Anyway. Yeah, calling it here. So with all that, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you do, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for the next video. Until then, take care. Q outro, go!